LaTeX style references with a bib, bibliography, bibber file in our markdown. So this is one thing I found out recently, and this is just one of the two major reasons that I'd rather use R Markdown than LaTeX for any sort of really serious writing. Number one is that the references and bibliography in the file format that LaTeX uses with Bibber can be done the exact same way with R Markdown, and it works great. The second main thing was the, um, the bibliography, and there's this the fact that you can actually write LaTeX in R Markdown as needed, along with other languages. So you can get the features that you want from LaTeX without all the stuff. I want a table of contents, a page break, and my bib file, and that's all I want from LaTeX. I can do that. In fact, I did that. Here it is. I just wanted a table of contents in the LaTeX style. I wanted a page break after it, and I wanted my bibliography. So I referenced my file path with my bibliography in the YAML portion of the R Markdown document. Any references I make are with an at symbol in the name of the reference, and for your reference, pun intended, uh, here's my unibib file, um, and here it is. Uh, it's a book, and it's this reference, so at that reference, and here's the details, and I can put the reference here. You know, all the following is sourced from there, and the references are put in at the end of the document, so I just put it in a top-level header there, and then when I knit this document together, It'll pull all this stuff together. You know, here's my table of contents in the LaTeX style. Very pretty. I like it. It's got hyperlinks. And I can scroll. Here's the reference from Quinta or Quitta, Mold, and Cameron, 2003. And then at the end of the document, there's my reference. So that's all it really takes to do references in our markdown. You have a bib file you reference its location, and using the, uh, the bib file syntax, you know, you're, you're all set. That's all you really need. Now, for figuring out some information on um, LaTeX and the bib files, because if I'm not going to be learning LaTeX in depth because I'm using R Markdown, and really the only thing I really need to understand is uh, the bibliography, um, the link I really like is on Overleaf which is like a free place where you can write LaTeX online. It's kind of like Google Docs of LaTeX. Um, but here's like a page. Like you can just go here and just search like bibliography management with BibTeX or bibliography or whatever. And here's pretty much everything you're going to need to know to write your bibliography file. Um, unless you're doing some like really complex stuff. Like I'm not going to be writing complex crap. So this is enough for me to do what I need to do. You know, there we go. And then it'll list out all the fields that you can do for each different thing at here, right there. Um, yeah, so this is really all I needed. So I have this like reference if I need it, but yeah, um, bibliography, reference it, make your references in your text, and then knit your document together. And you're good, that's it. That, that is how to make a fully referenced and almost academic looking paper, so. That's it.